Claire Crawley and Dale Moss were spotted packing on the PDA recently at a Florida beach. Hello everyone, welcome to another Shared News from Home. We continue to follow the Claire and Dale saga very closely here at Shared. We'll discuss all the details and break it down, but before we dive in, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. I'm Hibba Berry, joined today by Gabby Gonta. Alright, so over the weekend, the on-again, off-again couple were spotted on the beach at Nokomis, Florida. They were spotted taking a stroll hand in hand. E! News reports witnesses saw Claire playfully spank her former fiancé, and Dale even carried Claire back to their hotel where people congratulated them on their reconciliation. Now, one important thing to mention, Claire is still not wearing the engagement ring. So, Gabby, right off the bat, I gotta ask, are we surprised this reunion, reconciliation, whatever we want to call it, is still going on? After those first photos came out with them the first time they went to the beach together, pretty much blatantly out in public, I was surprised (laughs) by that, but I'm not surprised they're still hanging out down there. I think they're just kind of not sure what's going on either. Maybe they really just were missing each other or just wanted to have some fun. Quarantine's obviously very lonely and they're, you know, down in Florida at the beach. So maybe it's just a vacation and they're kind of just doing their thing. But um, they're clearly not hiding their face again, willing to just be running (laughs) around talking to fans. So, you know, (laughs) I think that says explains it for itself. Yeah, it seems like they're milking this kind of exposure a lot you know they i'm sure are aware that the media has been covering them being first spotted out and now they're just kind of you know milking it and you know i guess just living their lives on a florida beach you know in the sunshine state and i mean it seems like it's a nice kind of temporary getaway now do we know if this will last we don't know we'll get into that a little bit later on now a source told e-news claire and dale have had long talks and are quote making plans for their future together they both want to make it work claire visiting him in florida really sealed the deal for her she is so smitten and will do whatever it takes to make it work between them end quote now to remind you guys these two live on opposite coasts claire is committed to looking after her mom and family in sacramento while dale has settled down in New York. The source also said Dale even invited Claire to come to New York City next month, adding, quote, they have had a great week together and are already acting like they are back together. It's been a fun week for both of them and they both hope the relationship continues that way. They both seem happy together and have been able to move past the drama, end quote. Now, after their little hiccup that they had, of course, uh, do we think this reconciliation could end up working? What are the chances looking like to you, Gabby? Well, those quotes that you just read are very (laughs) promising. I didn't know all of that came out about how they're actually working things out and might, you know, become a couple and are working on their future. It certainly seemed like they were having a great vacation or a great time at the beach. And in several, you know, Instagram posts and stories, they're just laughing and all smiles and the videos that you mentioned, they look you know, wonderfully happy. So I'm happy for them in that aspect in terms of if it's going to work long term. I'm not sure. I think it's promising if she is going to visit him in New York. But I don't know. I'm just afraid that things are going to start to pick up again. Maybe, you know, they both didn't have a lot of work or maybe Claire's mom's feeling a little bit better. And that's why they were able to take some time apart. But I feel like once Dale's schedule gets a little bit crazier, and Claire has to go back and see her mom eventually. Like, I don't know if the same thing is just not going to happen again, where they are just on different pages and they're going to realize that. So, you know, as long as they want to prolong this, like, really fun relationship, I feel like the core of what they both want is still not the same, if that makes sense. No, that definitely makes sense. And and I definitely agree with that as well. And to add on to that, it seems like, you know what, they broke up, they kind of missed each other, they had that time apart, and they maybe spontaneously have been meeting up in Florida. So all those butterflies are back, all those excitement feelings are back that they first, you know, experienced. So I feel like this relationship has been rebooted in a way. And again, that's why it's exciting again. But you know, since this does seem like more of a spur of the moment, reunion, reconciliation, what have you, once that reality sets in, you know, once the excitement kind of dies down, I feel like they're going to be back at square one. They're still going to have those same situations to overcome, those same challenges, those same questions to answer. So Mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like 
it's going to be anything different than we've seen in the past is basically what I'm trying to say. It doesn't seem like, you know what, they did, of course, have a hiccup and, you know, relationships do have that. Have they overcome it completely? We won't know that, of course. We're not in the relationship. Have those, have all the questions been answered? Have all the problems been solved? We don't know that either, but the chances of that happening in regards to the issues that they were kind of having uh, challenges over in regards to, you know, settling down right away and having children as well. Cause you know, that was, you know, the forefront of Claire's mind, but Mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like that's something that could be agreed upon on Dale's side, you know, right away. I feel like that takes years and a long time to kind of reach that agreement if he is going to go through with it. So to me, it just seems like it's spur of the moment, We're just going to have to continue watching these guys and seeing, you know, how long this really will last. Now, E! also reported exclusive source information close to Claire. They said the hairstylist was moving on from the gossip and is trying to work things out. They continued to say, quote, Dale had regret over everything that happened between him and Claire. He has been reaching out to her. She finally caved and decided to answer his calls and talk it out, end quote. We tend to see this trend, this very famous trend of people going back to their exes and the chances that it would work out are kind of, you know, slim to none. Not that, you know, this is the case for Claire and Dale, you know, you never know, but what are your predictions for the longevity of this relationship and if it will work out future-wise? It's hard because they're hardly exes, right? They just broke up a couple of weeks before and now they're back. So it's like not even really an ex, I feel like. <laughs> they just sort of took a break. I'm sure there was a lot of the same feelings as you have when you're breaking up with someone. They're very intense. So even if it was a short amount of time, they probably both felt that really intensely. I think this is an interesting quote saying that Dale regretted everything and was trying to call her and she, you know, was a little resistant, but then ended up caving. That's kind of a strange narrative because, in my opinion, I feel like Dale has pretty much just been fame hungry since day one. I'm sure he has some love for her. I don't know if they have a future together, but I just think they're not on the same page in terms of what they want, right? So maybe it's the case that Dale and Claire broke up and Dale was trying to pursue his own career and with his newfound Instagram fame or whatever it was. And once he wasn't with Claire anymore, all of his fans or people that were paying attention to him, the real reason he, you know, grew to fame or became well known in the first place was simply because of their relationship. So then when they're not in the relationship anymore, that kind of starts to slowly fade. So I feel like he was just kind of wanting that all eyes on him again. That's like, pretty that maybe that's a hot take you know I'm like (laughs) claiming he's selfish and all this maybe other people don't think that or maybe they do but I don't know just the way that he's acting in the videos the one on the beach he was talking to the fans like oh thank you we just want our privacy and all that well clearly they're just like (laughs) frolicking around on the beach so it's kind of like it doesn't really add up to me but and then on the other side Claire was clearly in love with him like from the beginning so in love with him truly in it So if he calls her back, she's going to be, you know, not, not afraid to say no and jump on that. So I'm just afraid the same thing's going to happen in a few weeks and her heart's going to get broken again. (laughs) Yes. I think Claire has showed us day one. She's invested in this relationship. You know, she's ready to go. Dale has always been that question mark. And like you mentioned the video, how he was behaving. It's like, okay, like calm down. Like you clearly want this attention. You know, you want the paparazzi. You you want these fans taking pictures of you and posting it all over social media. So this is something that it seems like he's kind of coerced in his head. He's planned in his head um, to kind of, you know, continue get it, getting this attention. And he did kind of, you know, fade out. He became less relevant once the breakup did happen. When he was on the show and they were still together, I mean, he was peak attraction as far as um, people paying attention to him. You know, he was getting tagged in photos with Claire. They were posting so much and Mm -hmm. all eyes were on him. And then once that was taken away, once the breakup happened, he kind of, I guess, realized what he had lost. I don't know if he realized he lost Claire or the fame. That's where the big (laughs) question mark is, I think. And Mm -hmm. with Dale, it's just so hard. And just in general with these Bachelor contestants, because you never know their intentions. You don't know if they're fame hungry or if they're actually genuinely genuinely looking for love and a relationship and a wife and a husband and the whole, you know, nine yards. So it's just so (laughs) tricky. I really root for Claire because people give her so much crap that she's too desperate, that she's too um, 
uh, she pressures the guys too much, but she just is someone that knows what she wants. There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't think she should be blamed for that. She has a clear idea of what her future should look like and she should stick with that. And, you know, I feel like the guys kind of get less crap because you should know what you're signing up for when you're on these shows. And yeah. unfortunately, it just seems like Dale is more towards the fame route rather than the actual relationship route. It's just, oh man, it's just like kind of watching a very slow car crash. But again, we're just going to have to see how long this will last. Um, I just hope Claire's okay. And I just hope that she just makes it out of this relationship. Because I feel like, again, it's hard to quit your ex or an ex-partner, ex-fiance cold turkey. You kind of, you know, have those temptations yeah. to go back. So mm -hmm. she's just being human. She's just, you know, reacting on her love of love because like i've said in the past she loves the idea of love so we're just gonna yeah. have to give her the benefit of the doubt and hopefully you know she doesn't walk away too hurt the second time <laughs> but all right you guys that's all we have to share with you for now as always we want to know your thoughts so tell us down in the comments below what you think of claire and dale's ongoing reconciliation also don't forget to follow us on all our socials please subscribe and ring the bell because we'll be back with more news updates and reactions i'm hippa very joined today by gabby gonta and as always we'll see you guys next time bye bye